All right, guys, today we are going to be reacting to Andrew confronts the Jen girl who takes advantage of mentally ill man. Oh, one of these ones, man. That's crazy. Let's go. Let's jump in. I think it shows the crisis of masculinity going on. Like, obviously, these guys are extremely beta. Mm. They have extremely <laughs> beta fetishes and kinks. Like, it, it's just, it's the crisis of masculinity right there. Like, a real masculine man who is a provider for his wife isn't going to do this. No, not at all. Right. Low fit, low oh. steam, low yeah, but who is... Now, uh, now Laura, can I give you maybe a little this? pushback on that? Sure. Um, perhaps they are the most masculine men on planet Earth. They're just extremely mentally ill. Right. Mm. I, I think you're just taking advantage of mentally ill and exactly. I mean, that's exactly possibly. what's going on. It's a king. But there's some girls that want to be like choked in the bedroom Can you and straighten your mic a bit. Yes. Completely. They want to be like wait. Yeah, you're good. Good. Okay. They want to be like in the bedroom and have like really like they want to be but they get off to that. Like that is a turn on for them. So it's why Yeah, maybe, illegal. but let's um Let's think about this a little bit. Do you, inside of this industry that you're in, the Fendom industry, would you say if the roles were reversed and there was a um, there was man who was doing the uh, kind of women for money thing, do you think that there would be nearly as fe like many females state. participating as there are men? No. Well, there are. I don't no. think so. No, you don't think so. Why do you think that is? Mm. Because women are emotional creatures. I think creatures. the question... Um, where are you at? Andrew, who's the question directed to? Uh, the question here would be directed at Penny. Me. Why do you think that is, Penny? Um, I just think women are more emotional and non-sexual. Well, they are sexual, but I don't think it's more for men that are sexual. Right, so it's a... It's a sexualized fetish, right? Yeah. That seems to appeal to a certain demographic of men, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you were to have a methodology for the identification of mental illness, wouldn't that methodology include looking for anomalies in human behavior? Oh that would be how you would identify yo, yo, yo. if somebody is mentally ill or not, right? Yo, you gotta fucking... Um, yeah. What the hell, Ryan? And these are definitely anomalies, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely anomalies, so just saying... From my per perspective, it just sounds like a bunch of mentally ill lunatics that are essentially being taken advantage of by predatory women. Now, the reason I disagree with you on this, Laura, is because I think that what happens is you're able to sidestep the female responsibility portion of this by just saying, oh, the, the men want it, though, uh, and, and they're just beta. No, I don't think so. I think that uh, the women here are just as responsible as them because they're taking advantage of men. Well, I didn't say that men want it and, like, they're not responsible. I don't think it's a great thing to do. Obviously, it's never something I've done. Um, so, no. But I think that they're young. They don't really know what they're doing. And probably <coughs> in 10 years, they might regret doing it. But the problem is, if they don't do it, some other woman will. <laughs> you know, like, it's an industry. It's, it's a... It's a it's like dominatrix. It, it falls in that line of work. So there'll always be someone. And really, if, unless we fix the crisis of masculinity, it's not going to be fixed. And it is a mental illness, but you could argue that doing is a mental illness. Being dominated do. is a mental illness. Like, all these things yeah. are mental illnesses. Yeah, I'm, so. not, I'm not sure that I would make the direct correlation this way with something like, uh, like doing pornography, for instance, right? But... Uh, in the case of somebody who actually wants to physically have a woman's foot stomp on their genitalia... Well, that's purposes, different. I'm talking about the guys just giving her, like, ten bucks for coffee, you know, or a thousand bucks. Yeah, that's a different well, level not, of mental illness. But they're not illness. doing that, right? They're giving her money. She has 1,825 paying clients per year who are actually soliciting a service from her. And that service is to be humiliated by her. Listen, right? I'm not condoning it. Like, yeah, no, I'm not saying you're condoning yeah. it. I'm just saying the reason that I think that um, these men probably are mentally ill and they're just being taken advantage of is because that's such an anomaly from the male perspective of behavior that I would have to categorize it in that other category of, like, th this is Fruit Loop shit, right? This is ways... It's so far outside of the ordinary for men to seek out social shaming by women. Mm. I don't know how else to categorize it except as a mental illness. If she has thousands of clients though, and she's only one woman, is it really that far out of the realm? Or like have the men in America just the, totally um, lost it? 100, 
out of 180 million men, it's a, it's essentially a statistical Yeah, anomaly. but this is one girl. Like, how big do you think your guy's industry is? I, I it heard it's a large industry. Even, Not really. Yeah, even if it was no? 50,000 uh, even if it was 50, men, that would be an extraordinary small sample size. That's still too many. To <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I'm not saying it's not too many, but I'm just saying that it's such a small sample size. Uh, like, there's far more uh, trans people out there than 50,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, far more. So, yeah, I would say that it's such a limited case uh, of actual men. Yeah, it's a niche, and I'm sure that there's some women who can do fairly well in the niche. But I just want to say something, guys. So you, you you have to... Con this is This is my opinion. If you cannot control your urges of sex, you are like a woman. Woman, women are the one that go crazy about sex. This is the one that wanna sleep with women, have threesome. You have to control your urges for sex. You have to control your urges. If you cannot control your urges, you are a female, in my opinion. You have to control it, man. But it's so outside of the purview for men to seek out social shaming by women. Usually the opposite is what you see, right? They're afraid to engage with women because they seek not to be socially shamed by them. In this case, the fetish is that they do. So I, I don't know how else I would categorize that. Mm -hmm. They're also that men, sense? they're like CEOs and they have so much money sometimes because they're always so powerful. By the end of the day, they're so exhausted that they want someone to, to, to push them to the limit maybe. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because there, the there are a lot of CEOs that will be like strong and powerful at job at the job, but then when they come home, they're like a different being, and yeah. they just want to be used and abused and tell them they're worthless so they can go work and have more energy at work. Yes. What the hell? I mean, it just sounds like some like bizarre power fantasy. Um, yep. My guess is uh, yeah. these are men who are mostly saving up their SSI paychecks and their Social Security disability in order to uh, to get this sort of gratification. Not high power CEOs with uh, massive jobs that are raking in millions of dollars. Uh, what would even be the incentive for that, right? They could get really, really high high class, like international dudes to come in and do this service for them. There would be no reason to go on some uh, some social service where they could even potentially expose themselves, right? So yeah, that's a good it point. seems like uh, it's probably more likely if you're, if you're dealing with the numbers of uh, anywhere from 50 bucks to a few thousand dollars, even $10,000, uh, that's not that much money to save up over time uh, if you're on some sort of disability or mentally ill, that type of thing. But you mentioned prostitution. So do you think that it's not mentally ill and it's more fair if the guy is paying for a service then that's fine like then he's not being taken advantage of is that your view uh no i just think i think that he's he's not being taken advantage of in the same exact way so i would say he's doing something which i would have a moral problem with but i'm not so sure it's outside the social purview of how how enough men act that i would consider that to be a mental illness i wouldn't mm. say that it's such a rarity in the kind of psyche of the male that they could just go out and spend a couple hundred bucks for some up night, right? And uh, and that's it, right? I'm not sure that I would categorize that in the same type of category as I'm seeking out social shame from the opposite sex on purpose and paying for it. These seem like um, seems like you're kind of identifying an extreme and then comparing something which isn't so extreme against it. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Can you? I like that silence. I always love that type of silence. The reason I like the silence is because it demonstrates the message came through. The message came through and it's going to sit. So the good thing is when that type of message sit, that's when they start growing in subconscious. That's what happened. Very interesting. Uh, Andrew, could you ask a question? I'm just dealing with a couple things here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So uh, just to keep just keep going here. Uh, so you, uh, Penny, you, you've recently gotten involved in the kind of femdom uh, industry, right? Yes. And how long have you been involved? She has since March. Like, I would say two months. About two months? Yeah. Okay. And has your career as exploded as hers? No, definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. And so when Brian was asking you earlier about the kind of crazier things that you have done, uh, was the craziest thing that you've done with the femdom thing just the going and crushing this guy with, uh, with Kylie? Um, what the hell, Just like bro? right into the mic. That was it. Okay. That was it. That's crazy. And so bro. how many clients would you say monthly you have? 
10 or 20. Yeah, these simps, man. These simps, man. You know, when you act in behaviors like that, you're literally telling the universe that your genes should not be existing. Should not exist. Because you are behaving, you're make, you're literally acting in self-destructive behavior. The more you indulge in these type of things, it's, it's the deeper, the deeper, the abyss. It's a deeper abyss. Have you guys played uh, any game like a Skyrim or any type of these kind of game, right? There's always an abyss challenge. The abyss keeps going down and down, 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 down. It's infinite, right? This is what happens when you indulge in behaviors like this, folks. Don't do this. Don't do this. Have some, some self-worth. 10 or 20. Okay, so Damn. significantly smaller size. Yes. And what are the general requests that they're asking you for? Just pictures of my feet or myself. Damn. Just normal pictures, mostly. That's crazy. It doesn't. So, okay, so those requests, though, don't sound like requests, right? No. Well, no. They just want to see me happy and, like, with money. Okay. So you're not, most of these people, you're not even, like, talking bad to them? Well, no, I you're do, not saying I do they, talk bad, but I'm talking about requests from them. Mm -hmm. Just pictures. Yeah. Just but if they're showing it. if they're showing feet, it, like she's sending feet pictures, is it, are they like foot maybe more than fandom? Mm, both. I think it's yeah. more that they like imagine themselves like bowing at our feet yeah. and just like to look at our yeah. feet. Yeah, that's, that's what crazy, it is. Man. Got it. Very weird. We're like laying money. So are most of them like into at the forefront of it, like, or do you think it's purely like financial? I mean, the best way I can describe it is just like a guy that gets off to a gold digger relationship. Like, he just thinks it's hot that a girl is using him for his money and being mean that's to him. Crazy. Like, that's the main thing. Interesting. If you girls had sons, so imagine you are mothers mm -hmm. and you had sons, would you want them to act that way? I don't think I would know. But imagine you're a mom and you have a son. And I find out? Now, would you want your son to act this way in a, in a relationship a good with females? Well, no. No. No, no, no. yeah, the what about you? If I had a son that, like, sent money to Findoms? Yeah, so uh, you have adult son and who is trying to develop a relationship or whatever, and uh, you found out that this is what he is doing. I would not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's degrading. It's degrading. Folks, I'm telling you, it's degrading. It's degrading, man. I think it's because pathetic. it's, yeah, because it's, it's pathetic. What? Pathetic. I wouldn't raise any of my children to be that way. It's sad. How would it's you raise sad. your pathetic. son if you had a boy? Not to be that boy. way. That's crazy, man. Look yeah, because you're a woman, it's easier to relate to girls, right? If yeah. you had a daughter. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had a son, how would, would you raise him? I would do the nurturing side of it more of the emotional mm. side of it mm. nurture and emotional so i have four sons yes <laughs> okay i have four boys and the most important thing i think that you can do for them is have a strong masculine father mm -hmm. in the picture mm -hmm. there's been studies statistical studies that if it's just a mother raising them and nurturing that does not make a masculine man yes. that actually makes a beta Reach. generally Statistically, I would do that side of it though. I would have obviously, yeah, yeah. You have to nurture, yeah. we are the nurturing force, yes. but they need to see a father figure who is strong, mm -hmm. masculine, just like a role model. And if they don't have that, you know, oh, yeah, I know yeah. there would there would be that in there. Yeah, no, no, yeah, the father will be there. No, nah, yeah, yeah, the father will be there. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, sure. The father, yeah, that, that thing, that thing, father, what is that? Yeah. What is that? What is a man, right? What's a father? What don't you know? That thing, of course. I, I guess I'll buy it in, in Target and put it there. You see what I'm saying? You see how these females just make fun of you? Well, you get off of that. Yeah, you, the universe, God, will take you out of the lineage because your gene is so weak. Don't you understand, man? Have you have you ever thought your ancestor looking down on you? You're doing behaviors like this, it's alone, 
Have you ever thought about that, man? I'm talking to you, yeah. The one that is just buying these weird fetishes. Think about that. How your ancestors are looking down on you. And saying, damn, man, that's my lineage. Somebody that would like to get their, you know, their nuts crack it. I mean, oh, my God. Well, of I course. Raise myself. Are you planning on telling your children that you did this? I'm not going to be doing it for that long. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, 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 they always say that. Are you going to keep it a secret? No. Like in the future? No. Nothing I do would ever be a secret because it's not, in my opinion, bad. So do you think in 10 years when you're looking to get a husband and settle down and have kids that your husband will accept you having done this in your past? Um, yes. <laughs> you do? Yes. A wow. person that I pick? Yes. No, that I pick. In the future. God, what kind delusion. of uh, The delusion coming in. They think they are in control. You see? This is for delusion content. She thinks she's in control, but she's not. God, they're, they are the one that have the access of sex, but we have access of relationship. She thinks she's going to pick them because why? She's young. A lot of guys are just on her. So she had the illusion that that guy that she wants is still there. She had that illusion because a lot of simps are given this sense of false security. And then you go to a podcast like this and say stuff like that. And think that you kids are never going to know. Interesting. What would you be looking for? What, someone what, is, what are his like requirements? Someone that accepts that in my past and that won't judge me for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, in your ideal world, if I had a magic wand right now, how tall is he? How much does he make per year? <laughs> yeah, if I could deliver your dream husband to you. Tall. Funny, really funny. Confident. Um, <laughs> money doesn't. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna contribute to the household? That's what Kevin yes. Samuels talking points. Really? Mm -hmm. So when you're pregnant and throwing up 20 times a day, well, I did it. Well, you want that, you're gonna work? No. No. Okay. So he has to have some money. Yes. Yes. He has okay. some money. That's all I really look for. Non judgmental, understanding, loyal. All the good I mean, stuff. You, you should think about it. You girls are very young, and that's less than 1% of men, statistically, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. what you described. Oh, yeah. And most. I think it's less than 1%. I think she probably described 1 at 0.5. Not that that really matters, but that, at this point, it's less than 1%. Of them are not going to accept that you did this in the past. You'd have to keep it a secret from them for them to wipe you up, basically. Like, I know in our industry, uh, in matchmaking, if a guy finds out that any woman we present have, has done any realm of adult work, even OF, I don't even care whatever, you're on child, uh, you know, in just a bikini, <laughs> they don't care. They see OF, they see child. Like, I mean, Ooh. it's my job to screen to make sure the girls don't do that. They don't. Base. Base. Crazy, huh? The big getting, betting of the guests has the proof. I understand. It just, you still have to allow them to just be there. I know a lot of people want to vet some of these, uh, some of these individuals, but I'm okay because this is what you find out there. This is what you find. This is what you find. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.